One of the challenges that we have as administrators, be it Windows system administrators or Linux system administrators, is dealing with disk space. <clears throat> and um, it's, if a server, Windows or Linux, doesn't matter, if a server runs out of disk space, then all kinds of bad things happen to that server, normally involving crashing and, you know, other things that you don't want to have happen. So we need a way of dealing with disk space and monitoring that disk space. And Linux has a tool for us, it's called DF, which stands for, there we go, which stands for disk free. Now, it lists for switch file system. So you see there, UDEV, tempfs, dev sda2. Um, we see the file systems, but it's listed in 1K blocks, and that's a little more difficult to interpret. So we're going to turn this to disk free dash H, which is human readable. And that gives it to us in a much better format. So for example, slash dev slash SDA2, we have it's that uh, third line down after our headers. 125 gig partition, we're using 4.5 gig. We've got 114 gig free, which means we only have 4% use. And that last one, that slash is where it's mounted. So that is our root file system, our primary drive. We're running at 4% usage. So that's kind of useful. Now, one of the things that we'll deal with, let me clear this, is in addition to disk space, we also have a limitation for inodes. Now, an inode, think of it like a database that links uh, all of our different files. We can only have a certain number of inodes per file system. And normally we don't run into that. Uh, we don't run into a limitation with that, but occasionally we can. And so you may get a um, warning that you're running low on disk space, and when you do your df-h, it shows you still have plenty of room available, and you think, why am I running low of disk space? And it may be because you're running out of inodes. Most of the time you don't have to manage this, but if you get that, it's df-i for inodes, and that's going to tell you how many inodes uh, you have, how many are used, how many are free, and what percentage. So if we look back at dev sda2, we'll see we have eh, about 8 million inodes, and we've used about 107,000, which means we've got 8.2 million free, or we're running at 2% inode usage. And again, it tells us it's mounted on the root, so that's our primary file system. So, it means we've got a whole bunch of things available. Now, if I realize that I'm running out of disk space, how do I find out who's using it? Well, that's what the disk usage stands for. So I'm going to actually change directory here. I'm going to go to CD. I'm just going to go to CD forward slash and go to our root directory. This will take a little bit longer, but it'll be a little more entertaining. So I'm going to do a DU, which is disk usage. But then I'm going to do slash HSC, and this is going to give us a good uh, breakdown of our disk usage. Oh, shoot. Remind me to sudo that. Uh, let me clear this. Let me clear instead of trying to do CK. All right, sudo. So I have administrative permissions or root permissions. That'll help. Uh, du dash HSC asterisk. And my little password. If I can type correctly. Okay, here we go. There's still a couple of things we can't access, but now we see these starting to pop up. So this gives us uh, a list of space it's used and then what folder is using it. So we've got 142 megs used in our boot. We have 5.4 megs used in our ETC file. And this will show us which ones are the biggest files. In fact, we're using 4.9 gig total. And 2.1 gig of that is in our swap.img file. So this will let us break it down fairly easily and see what's being used where. And then let's say we had a bunch of things in our home. Then I'd do cd home and do the same thing. Dash shc this time, same thing. And it'll give me a list, and I didn't pseudo it again, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> and so you can see it'll show you folder by folder how much is being used in each one. And this will let you isolate where your disk space is being used from, so you can clear it out. Now, this is a little bit of a time-consuming process, but it does work fairly well.
Uh, and we can just use that at different levels and we track down our disk space usage. We find what's using it, we get rid of it if we can or figure out if we need to do something different. But it gives us the information to have a strategy to deal with our disk usage. Now there's one more thing that we can use and this is not built in but it's NCDU. So I'm gonna sudo and I'm just gonna switch user to root so I can stop forgetting to type sudo and I'm gonna do apt install NCDU and that will install for me. Alright and then I'm gonna go to my root folder I'm gonna do NCDU. All right, and this is going to scan through and it's going to show me here in this nice little graphical format where my file is being, files are being used. So my top one, two gigabytes, is in my swap.img. My next one is in my lib folder. Now, if I want to go explore these a little bit more, I can go to, let's go to the second one, the lib folder, hit enter. It'll take me into the lib folder. And now it'll show me usage within that lib folder. And then modules, and here's... 233 megabytes in two different files um, and then this will take me back up and here I can go through and explore piece by piece and find out where my um, where my data is being or my disk space is being used and I'm just using the up and down arrow key and then enter to go into a folder and then up here at the top where I've got the double dots that will take me back up to the previous folder. And so using this, I don't have to enter multiple commands. I can just scroll through and find where my disk usage is at. And down here at the bottom, it tells me total disk usage 4.9 gig, apparent size 128, um, and then items 246,000. All right, to get out of this, hit the Q, and it'll take me out. All right, so DF will give us our total number or total amount of disk space free. Uh, DF-I will tell us the total number of inodes that are free. DU will give us our disk usage. And NCDU gives us a nice little program that will walk us through uh, that discovering that disk usage. So several different ways of working with available disk space in Linux.